Toto? Yeah, hello, yeah. So what you doing? Ah, you're getting ready to watch watch Obama. Right. The DNC. Actually that's I got that on the other phone. I was just getting ready to, I'm looking at it. It's gonna be a while till he's up on stage or talking. So yeah, it's you know well yeah, no, it's been hot today, man. It's it's way over a hundred. You know, and I have to turn off all the air conditioning stuff if I want to do any kind of recording. Um, you know, I, just, I, you know, yeah, I miss all of my equipment. You know, yeah, <clears throat> yeah it's a, it's a big thing there. You know, so yeah, no, well, you know, yeah. I mean, I, I've talked to a lot of different attorneys. There's, it's, it, there's a lot of weirdness to the whole thing. I mean, um, it's kind of an amazing thing. I mean. You know, and one of them was mentioning the, the historical aspect, you know, historical aspect that, you know, that I'm still trying to get rational communications from people um, that, you know, basically national security has been violated. Obviously, you roll, you, you do funding, you, you assist people so that you can, you know, put a stop to it. And these people have just step further and further away from any kind of rational activity whatsoever. It's just horrible. I mean, they're violating national security, the process of elections, they're blacklisting. Uh, you know, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no. The list goes way on. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. Just just figure way, way on. And we got artifacts older than the... Uh, the Constitution of the United States that are lost now, you know, um, you know, I mean, mandatory death penalty area according to the Constitution, and it just, it's, it's just amazing. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> that depends. There's a lot of people on the list, you could say, over the different things that have occurred, or did the wrong thing, so to speak. You know, different types of people. You know, I mean, you know, we have. Uh, you know, we've got the Harris tracking, uh, her dereliction to duty, her, her refusal uh, to, to prosecute the police officers attacking a candidate, attacking an archiver, uh, refusing to press charges against the parties who were posting erroneous electronic information. I mean, just, just, just no help whatsoever. Nothing but, nothing but a ridiculous bunch of quotes uh, of, of policies that, the, that that aren't constitutional, they're they're not constitutional, you know. And the states do this all the time, you know. They have sub departments. They make these policies. Oh, it's been decided. Uh, let me see. It says, "What are you saying?" Da 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 da. Uh, no 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 no. That's not constitutional. You can't do that. And to the, I mean, to the point in this case, the attorneys look at us as man. That's treason. It's treason they're committing. It's just mind-boggling, you know. So, yeah, so I'm, I'm just dealing with history being made. I'm putting out what material I can. I mean, I, I'm attempting, you know, what I can possibly do uh, to communicate with people and let them know, hey, don't waste your time. We've got documents up all the way up in D.C. waiting. You know, there's no way that, that Harris can get past the, uh, past Congress you know, with the ticket that way, and, and it's just, just, it's impossible, <clears throat> you know, I mean, um, they're, they're just not understanding it, you know, uh, I, oh, 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 back to how many, yeah, well, immediate ones, you know, if you go in chronological order, there's a lot of sections, you know, because it's, you know, this is a, uh, the rebellion and the, uh, insurrection these are these are evolutionary items and there's complexities because you have a rebellion in both parties but uh, if, if I focus in on the immediate pertinent connectivity uh, archive campaign archiver national security artifacts etc like the, the high priority stuff you have Julie Sue blacklisting participating in 
uh, cutting people's incomes off, uh, you know, attacking the income of a candidate. Even, you know, I mean, all these things. But but Congress, keep in mind, Congress ordered, <laughs> ordered, ordered everybody to be paid. Um, you know, then we have um, uh, Shirley Shirley Weber uh, refuses to cooperate in verification of information. You know, we're talking five minute phone call. I mean, attorney, he says, man, it's a five minute phone call. You call downstairs, you you get someone, you give them a series of you give them a series of instructions. And tell them, yeah, look, uh, call me back after you do this. Check this guy's participation. Check the signatures. Then call up the EDD and go all the way up to Julie Soup. You have to, and find out what is the problem. And say, by the way, we owe this guy money. He's a candidate. He's a candidate. He's demanding to get on the ballot, and we like owe this guy like ninety grand. <laughs> you know. And it's like, you know, and, and, we, and it's, you know, it's been a pro, you know, again, again, it's been a process again and again and again. I mean, it starts out and, and, and it gets worse and worse and worse and worse, you know, and they owe more and more and more money. And you're just going further and further into debt, debt you can't pay, debt you don't have. Uh, you're surrounded by ridiculousness. People start increasing rents. You know, storage goes up 400%. Absolute, complete insanity, gouging everywhere. It's just nuts. Over 400% inflation. But yeah, no, no. That's the the main. Four, yeah, the main ones would be Julie Sue, Shirley Weber, uh, Kamala Harris, uh, current AG's office. Um, you know, because the thing is, is the the damage all along the way. Attorney makes the point. He says, well, all along the way, if, if from the very beginning, the very from the very beginning, the very first time that Kamala. Uh, was 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 communicated if she prosecuted the bad cops i mean it was nine weeks from sunday you know she just she her policy is not to prosecute bad cops even though she stands up and grandstands and says yeah she's she prosecutes bad cops but that's not the truth that's not the truth that's in all the paperwork that we have shows that that's not the truth if she had done her job to begin with she would not have aided and embedded keeping that person at large, keeping that person at large that's a threat to a candidate, a threat to an archive, a threat to national security. I mean, the, the, the attorney goes on with the list. It's mind-boggling. You know, archive is, you know, we're talking, you know, mega violations in time you're involving an archive. And mind-boggling, just mind-boggling. So, yeah, the... the, the uh, and then, well, you know, but with her, it's reoccurring again. Because then you've got, then you've got the she she refused to prosecute the parties doing the illegal electronic transmits. You know, she re she you know she refused to prosecute the parties that were playing the yo-yo game. Oh, the yo-yo game. Oh, the yo-yo was the. Um, I think I told. Well, anyhow, um, the yo-yo game was the. Um, you call up the courts, you know, you do the city sometimes too, but you call up the courts and, and these different people and you say, hey, look, what is this? What is this citation? This is insanity. This is erroneous. You know, you, you call up Arkansas and, you know, and they, Arkansas says, what are the numbers? And you lay out the numbers and they go, uh, that doesn't make any sense. That's ridiculous. They're saying that, that you didn't have any insurance on this one item. He says it's on file right here, completely paid for. They're saying you didn't, this other one, you didn't pay for the tab. He says you paid for the tab. That's separate than the license plate. You paid for the license plate. You know, they're, they're saying, you know, yeah, he says, look, you've paid for the, here's your record, you paid for the, everything's on file. Paid for the license plates, paid for the tab, you know, have insurance on file, paid for the insurance, paid the separate taxation. You know, guy just goes through the whole list. He says absolutely everything on that list is erroneous. It's ridiculous, <clears throat> you know, and the guy, you know, I had one of them that did a report one time. He checks, and he checked, like, the logs, and he says, the guy made a request for a transmit. He ran you, and we sent him the accurate information. We got a copy of it right here. We sent the accurate information, and the guy turns around and writes a ticket like that. I just, I mean, just ridiculous, you know. And, uh, you know, I, I had other people that did stuff like that, too, and I got those tickets gone, too. But, you know, the thing is, is that, you know, uh, the, oh, the other tickets, I don't think you can find them. I think, they, I think those tickets, like, went away permanently. 
you know, as in, oops, people screwed up. You'll find a black hole. You'll find a missing number someplace. They got rid of everything, you know, uh, laid out the, uh, yeah, look, I'm a candidate. Here's an co electronic copy of the paperwork, da, da 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 You know, you can't keep asking me to keep going around all these different states and do this. This is harassment, you know. Plus, I'm an archiver, by the way, separate violations. Here you go, bing, 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 boom. Yeah, you got anybody ready to do 70 years in a federal penitentiary on these kind of violations for attacking an archiver and interfering with the process of elections and attacking a candidate? You know, most of the time. But California, no, no, you know. Kamala Harris, no, no. She's not going to, she's not going to prosecute these people with, I'm sorry, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, 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 I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, I got, okay, okay, the, 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 okay, the, Okay, the yo-yo, the yo-yo. Um, um, yo -yo. Okay, the way the yo-yo works, as you know, is basically you're complaining and you're saying why, you know, to the prosecutors, to different people, the courts, all this other stuff, city, all this other stuff was issue out and all that stuff, saying, hey, man, why should I have to come to your state? Straight out. Why should I have to come to your state? To address this ticket that's completely erroneous, here's an email. We've sent you records. We've provided information beyond the shadow of a doubt. There is no doubt whatsoever. Here's all the evidence. What are we doing? Oh, by the way, yeah, the little part we're demanding that these parties be prosecuted. We want copies. We want receipts. And they're like, oh, uh, uh, no, 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 we can't do that. No, oh, we can't give you copies. Oh no, we couldn't give you certified copies in advance. Oh no, we well, we want certified copies in advance. I'm a presidential candidate. This is an indictment process. We want certified copies of all this stuff in advance. We want them stamped. They didn't want to give it. They did not want to give certified copies, you know. And uh, so they want you to go to court. So we we need certified copies of everything that you got first. What is this so-called evidence that you are claiming? Where is the testimony? What is the evidence? You know, we have provided you our investigation, which shows that everything that you have is erroneous beyond the shadow of a doubt. Now we want certification. What have you got? What are the statements? What's going on? You know, prove to us that this is not an entrapment kangaroo court item. Because we have a RICO right now. That's what we have. We have a RICO violation of criminals. Criminals committing crime under color of authority. And we need the certification from this. These people flatly refuse to cooperate. They just turn around and like, oh, no, we can't give you, oh, no, no, no. You know, so what they do is like, oh, well, we'll take it off the books. When we take it off, but we'll just make it go away. So that's not good enough. We want these people prosecuted for what they've done. They've, they've committed all these violations, you know, and interfered with elections. God, this is horrible. You know, and um, they just flatly refuse to do it. And they eventually hang up the phone. And what happens is you try to, then you, here's what it is. You try to get copies, certified copies of what they got, and they won't give you nothing. So zip, that's the yo-yo. In other words, it goes down. It's on the books, comes up, oh, they decide to pick up the paperwork, comes up, they hold it, hide it in a box someplace, you know. And then an analyst later on looks at the records and go, well, this item's supposed to be active, let's put it back onto the electronics, let's put it back into the books. Then they reactivate it. This is the yo-yo, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, as it's described, you know. And this stuff that these people are doing, you know, my goodness, this, this is just insane. And say, look, we need these people prosecuted. Yeah, yeah, so that's the yo-yo. Yeah, I'm sorry, yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's very upsetting. It's very upsetting. It's, this is, it's just, this is so insane, you know. <laughs> God, you mean, you should, you know, you know, I mean, histor history is being made this very second. This very second history is being made. We're sitting there, I've been, I've been putting up stuff on, on X. I've been sending stuff directly to, um, delegates saying, hey, look, these people have lied to you. They have withheld evidence from you. Here is some evidence. Here is information about what I'm about. Here's a gateway to go over to X to see the more than 13,000 postings that lead to other locations that lead to 
uh, YouTube, you know, there's there's just massive quantities of, of evidence and photographs and oh, the violence is just horrible, all this different stuff. And, you know, these people, you know, you just, you know, what part do you want to run? You know, I mean, hundreds, you know, the, at this point, I would say there's probably the equivalent of hundreds of thousands, easily, over 200,000 documents associated at X at this point in time. And, I mean, this is just, this is just mind-boggling, you know. So this is history in the making, you know, because, you know, the, the attorney, said, attorney said this is a history in the making. Well, well, see, some of these attorneys, they're not, they're not licensed to practice in that particular area. Yeah, yeah, that's part of the problem. Yeah, it's a demographically sits out of their thing, but they, you know, um, yeah, that's part of the problem. The ones in the areas, they're like, uh, we declined. You know, well, why do you decline? Uh, we're afraid of what could happen to our family, our friends, our business. Oh, so you're, you're afraid as in you're afraid it's, you know, because of RICO problem? Yeah, yeah, that sets that's, that's up plain and simple. I mean, nobody, you know, nobody's coming up otherwise on stuff. And, uh, you know, different, different excuses are ridiculous. Oh, it wouldn't be good for my business. Oh, once again, it's, you know, a RICO excuse. Again, you would not believe how many attorneys I've gone through, you know, so the other different filings. So I've got, no, I wouldn't say that I don't have any attorneys. I've got some attorneys. The problem is, is, is getting certain people the right area. For instance, if I can get any, any of them, any of them into the state of Arkansas, they're toast. They're toast. They're going to get prosecuted, boom, nine ways from Tuesday. They're screwed. And, you know, unless those attorneys died, you know, uh, but, uh, you know, that, you know, actually that even the state, the state said in Arkansas, we will press criminal charges. This is a criminal case. This is a criminal case. This is not civil. This is a criminal case. You know, so, you know, again, an, another reason why it's a criminal case all along, you know, and, and Harris is supposed to deal with this. And you can't get her to deal with it. And, and that's after you go through these other people. You go right on up through the prosecutory list, you know, and it's following right up the letter. You know, I, I believe it was multiple offices we went through on it with Harris before she became AG and stuff. It, you know, this is just, you know, but history is being made right now. The shame, oh, the shame, the shame right now that these people are putting on the Democratic Party. Mind-boggling. Mind-boggling. You know, eight Teen mobile broadcast RV archive vehicles lost. Forty other vehicles lost. You know, archive, <clears throat> archives, archives. You know, anything on this kind of archive, the the chronological obligation is immediately, immediately. Whoever's committed a crime, immediately you do fingerprints, you do photographs of the evidence of the people involved. Uh, it's a RICO. It's, it's immediate arrest. They, you're, it's criminals. They were supposed to go in front of a judge. Get these people thrown into prisons in, in hours, in hours, you know, and figure out how this is going. Where's anything that ends up getting stolen? They're responsible for any damage. It, turns out this, it doesn't matter how much damage ends up occurring from the standpoint of no matter what happens, they cannot escape the liability factor. They cannot escape it. And because national security information is, because of the laws from the 40s on the books, there's no way around it. These people can't be immune under any circumstance. They've violated some of the most crucial areas of the Constitution. You know, these are attacks upon a candidate. You know, so you have Julie Sue, you have uh, Shirley Weber, and you have Kamala Harris actively somehow in one way or another involved and aiding and abetting parties or whatever, it still spells, all the attorneys are, it still spells attack on a candidates. They're disqualified by the Constitution of the United States. They're not even allowed to be candidates. They're not even allowed to run for office. And it's, it's specifically related. It's different. Like other people brought up this other insurrection stuff. is not supposed to be able to. This is specific. Deemed acts of war. And cannot run. You know, I mean Pacific, way more Pacific to a candidate. Whoa, whoa. And here these people are. The shame, the shame of the Democratic Party to proceed forward with what they're doing. You know, this is, she takes money from Donald Trump multiple times. The money, the money Trump gets, that was Russian sourced. 
I mean, these are the weird, these are the, the strange twists and facts as they are. You know, this, this is it. You know, this is horror. This is like a horror movie. And it, what's worse than a horror movie? Hey, tr check this one out. Check this one out. You know, one of the attorneys said when it was really good, he says, he says, an analogy of what's happening, and this was before the max damage hit. He says an analogy of, of what is happening is it's like these people ordered your business shut down to close the door so your, your income's gone. Then they turned the water off. Then they turned the water off on you. And then they refuse to pay you when they're supposed to compensate you. And you call up and say, hey, look, look, this is an archive. You've turned off the water. This is an archive. Do you understand what happens if a fire starts? This is an archive. And then what happens? He says a fire starts. And you communicate with him. We have a fire. We have a fire. We need the water turned on. We have a fire. And these, you know, these people, nothing, nothing. They refuse to respond. It was horrible. And he says, this is so despicable. And he uses the word, this is the most despicable thing. And the shame, the shame that they're putting on the Democratic Party for right now, what they've done. You know, I mean, the election rigging, the, the uh, recall election, gubernatorial election. Um, they blacklisted me from being a candidate on the ballot. The attorney says, no. He says, man, you know, I did the analysis. He says, you got to do some deep analysis on that. How many RVs were there? How many campaign vehicles would have been on the road? I says, well, you know, a dozen at least, you know, going on and off the uh, freeways, LA freeways, a million people a day exposure. Just incredible. A million people a day. And I still got gotcha. you. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, no, uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, oh, yeah, I finished. Yeah, so, yeah, so it's this, it's just, it's mind-boggling. It's just mind-boggling the way this thing runs. And history is being made. Click, click, click. You know, all this information being uploaded every hour, every hour, another company's snap. They're putting out another ma major language model. Snap, another ma major language model. You know, this, the, the, the data, the, the, uh, um, evidence just boom goes out boom 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 copy copy of you know children whatever books become for the next hundred years children children will be reading about this and they'll be reading about the horrible shame they'll re be reading about the horrible progression of how these people just not day after day this is how one of the attorneys says it's not day after day he says it's hour after hour every hour Every hour that they refuse to do the right thing because they are parties with superior knowledge are additional national security violations. That's how the jury's going to look at it. They can break it down and say, well, what about this hour? What were your thoughts on this hour? Were they the same? Okay, well, what about two hours later? Were your thoughts still the same? You know, just going through it again and again and again. And then it's going to go around to the thing, how... Could you possibly think that information pertaining to national security, to the process of elections, to archives, would not be something that would need to be an immediate retrieval item? You know, and it's just ridiculous. Oh well, no, that well, that goes that 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 goes that's that's way early. That's way early. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, no, you know, the first thing, you know, yeah, you know, well, number one, you know, yeah, call, you know, they wanted to work with, you know, so why don't you get the local Mounties? Yeah, they, they, the first thing comes out of their mouth. They don't want to do their duty over there is, and, you know, and you're like, you don't understand, you know, they don't understand. It's my first rodeo with these people. Number one, we already have discrimination and blacklisting connected to who? Connected to who? Be, who's in dereliction on this? You know, Harris, Harris, Harris blacklisting, and they've got black marks on it. The attorney talks to me, says that they're going to do capital letters, small letters, all this weird blacklisting. So you're a troublemaker. So I call them up. I'm a troublemaker. And sure, shit, that's what happens. I call the police, and they threaten me. They threaten me. I'm a candidate. I'm an archiver, and these people threaten me. You got a mouth, boy. Oh, this is just insane.
It's insane, you know. I mean, just absolutely ridiculous. And uh, and also, they're part of the parties. False arrest. Yeah, well, you got a mouth. I says, there's crimes being committed here against a candidate and an archiver. What's the matter with you people? And they haul me to jail. Oh, you got a warrant for your arrest. Again, who's that connected to? Harris. So, I tell these people flat out, we'll check the information. You have a computer, you can check it right there. You know, let's just get these people on the line. What do you people do? I've been demanding, again, I was demanding prosecution through the Secretary of State's office years and years ago. This goes back years, this whole pattern. This whole pattern as I was a presidential candidate way, way back, you know. So, yeah, you know, so it's like there's, this is not the first rodeo on this stuff. Yeah, so then all of a sudden, you know, I call, you know, I they call the cops to want to roll. The FBI doesn't want to roll. You know, I get some of them to start to investigate. And this is, oh, man, it looks like some of the people that might have been associated to this may have been connected to Trump. Now, we can't investigate anything to Trump. It's a family problem. We have to leave now. It's a family problem. It's like, what the hell, you know? And you're talking to the cops. It's like, do you mean family problem as in organized as in like Rico? Well, yeah, 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 yeah. It's kind of sort of like that in a way. Yeah, yeah. The guy drops his head down. It's, it's this is despicable. You know, and you tell these people in the state, look, we have to have higher up people, number one. Number one, you're, these people aren't paid enough. These people aren't paid enough to even have the right skill set to deal with archives. It's not even the right, you know, these people aren't even paid enough. They're not trained right. You know, how can I expect a bunch of guys to have the kind of knowledge to deal with national security items and deal with an archive with the kind of pay they're getting happened, you know? I mean, when I'm going to do, sit there and scream at a bunch of guys when I know better myself and I know they don't have the training, I know that they were hired in a bracket where they're not even going to pay them the right way? You know, I mean, this is just so ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, this, yeah, yeah. You know, so yeah, so it's that, it's, it's you know, it's like that attorney said, he says, he says, first they order your business shut down and you have an archive with artifacts older than the Constitution of the United States, and they turn off the water, and then a fire starts. Maybe they started, see, here's the thing, we don't know who all the players are, exactly. Are these Trump people? Are these Democrats? Who are these people? You know, we're talking hundreds of millions, billions of dollars of value. It's an archive. You know, I mean, this is insane. You know, uh, absolutely, absolutely insane. And, um, you know, I couldn't even get my base pay. My base pay going and doing petitions as gig work. As gig work. You know, and they think like, oh, well, you, you, aren't you rich? You run an archive? And they, these people have no idea how, how private archives and museums work, man. <laughs> you, you, you could barely get a hold of enough, enough money to keep the lights on, yet alone make a paycheck. Oh, there's no salaries. There's no paychecks. Well, that'd be a violation of California law. Everybody else get paid. Really? Is that the law? Well, it says so right here. That's good. Now, by the way, why don't you pay me the money that Congress ordered? Oh, man, you know, yeah. It, no, it did. It hurt, man. Not being able to do those petitions, that hurt. Man, that really, really hurt. That was bad. Really, really bad. Yeah, because I should have been I should have been moving out, going switching to the next piece of property for the archive. You know, I mean, I could have I could have took things back to actually to tell you the truth. I was looking for several pieces of property, you know, because I was anticipating making thirty to sixty thousand dollars in ninety days. Basically, I had uh, I trained up to do trainees. I was basically a, a team leader. Um, I had a list of other people to call and bring in and hire. I was going to put ads out and hire other people. I was going to start activating the the RVs, you know, more. You know, I mean, you know, because I wasn't even really using the RVs before. I was just using other vehicles, just going out, you know, uh, connecting up. You know, the most I ever had, I think, was three people, three or four people. That I had, a, you know, did my training with, you know. But you know, the thing is, is that 
uh, you know, so but now I'm a team leader, I could get maybe a dozen people, two dozen people, as far as running petitions. You know, I finally basically got my uh, wherewithal trust certification from the handlers that way, but still, you know. But anyhow, so yeah, no, I just, it, it's ridiculous, you know. Julie, you know, Julie, I'm not Julie, uh, uh, Weber, Weber won't, won't cooperate. The office won't cooperate. These people are inside. No rational communications. Completely abandoning the concept of, of what goes with empirical methodologies, the proper chronological order. What do you do? What do you do when you're responsible for ca causing a cascade event, a domino effect? You turn over an emergency management budget. That's standardization. You know. I mean, you know, and these people turn around and say, you know, they they want to turn everything into, oh, just file another complaint and maybe we'll decide to review it. Uh, we have items pertaining to national security in motion. That's what, that's what the attorneys keep saying. He says they're just missing the whole point of how this is going to grind on them. That every minute, every hour that goes by you know, is going to be reviewed and say, how is it? Well, we have the law right here. Didn't you, are these your initials? That is what attorney's going on. He says, are these, these are sheets you signed. These are sheets you signed. Are these your initials? Did you sign these documents? You know, and says, yeah, well, this is, this is you. Did you go to college? Did you do this course? This course in, in, in empirical uh, methodologies? Did, did you do this? What about this course? And this course over here? It's your signature. You're certified. You took the, you know. Yeah, he says, these people have superior knowledge. He says, there's no way that these people can get around this in court. And here we have items. They let it get so bad. He says, they just let, the, let you burn down to the ground, man. He says, just burn down to the ground. And they knew it. They knew it. You know, this is bad. This is really bad. You know, and one of the attorneys, attorneys said, it's worse than bad. He says, these people didn't just just basically set you on, turn the water off, set it on fire. He says, he says, I can't prove which of them were which way. But what I think, he says, what I think, he says, these people sparked it. These people burned down an archive. And these people blocked help from coming in. They blocked help. And I'm going, how do you figure? He says, well, it's an analogy. He says, yeah, they're blacklisting you in so many different ways. They're stopping you. They're stopping you from getting help from other sources because of what they're doing. He says, that's how bad it is. And he says, that's, you know, that's them stopping you from getting help. And I'm like, this is just incredible. I mean, and here it is, you know, I mean, the horror show of this. Like I said, to me, this is it's worse than a horror show. You know, the shame the shame it could destroy the entire Democratic Party. The shame of what these people are doing, you know, uh, archival violations, major time in jail, artifacts older than the Constitution of the United States, death penalty, death penalty, you know, acts of war against a candidate disqualified from elections, plus other charges. Many of these charges, by the way, also add up to treason. Treason. And it's like, yeah, no, yeah, no, no. They're worse than they're worse than Trump's charges. They're way, way worse than Trump's charges. You know, are you kidding? He could sit there and laugh and plea bargain a deal. And these people, these people, oh, death. They're all facing the death penalty. I mean, and you know, and I mean, and I have to be confident. Here's the other thing, attorneys say. The other thing say. And uh, I'm trying to remember what that section it says. Um, any, anyhow, anyhow, it says that. Before the votes, the delegate votes can be counted, and before certification, okay, either way, and or, and or, before certification, that, you know, I guess this is an order of discovery, is that full and complete compensation has to occur. All matters must be completely resolved, as in done compensated, not as in, oh, we've decided to shirk it off and put it on the court five years later as we take over the government. No, 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 no. All matters must be completely sorted at every level to see what these people have done. That's the priority, which means compensation, which means 
a, a calling for a special election, which means notifying the voters. California, the rigged election California, that's notifying every voter in writing. You're talking radio time, news time. You're talking these people have to apologize publicly. They have to, or somebody from government does, they have to certify from a government level that yes, a great wrongdoing has happened. And, and, and that this person uh, was a candidate or is a candidate and yeah, this person is not lying. This is the attorneys are telling me, he says, these people have to do this. You know, and now we've got all the way to the point where they've rejected this. They're going through the, the, the convention day after day, minute after minute withholding information from the delegates, withholding the truth, moving forward. It's this huge lie, just another one of these big, huge lies. Here we go again. Big lies, both sides. How about that one? I mean, was that, is that going to be a cover on, on the new, somebody's newspaper? Big lies, both sides. I mean, you know, uh, you know, where's, where's this going to go, you know? And... Um, you know, so I'm doing everything I can trying to tell people. I'm talking to them blue in the face. You know, uh, you know, please, please, just, just, just go look at it. I don't have time to go through that much. Please, please, just go look at the evidence and understand these people are, you know, lying to you. But I don't have the time. I said, you have the time to endorse them. But when somebody says, look, here's the evidence, you know, uh, it's not my problem that it's 200,000 pages for you to assimilate. To understand that the person you're trying to endorse uh, is supposed to be charged with treason and all these crimes, you know, give me a break. You know, don't don't you know? Because what you're talking about is I don't give and I'm not give a shit, and you're not going to go through the proper chronological order. What you're doing is despicable. It's despicable. The shame. The shame. You know, I'm talking till I'm blue in the face with people just trying to be reasonable. You started out mild. You try to get there, and they're just not understanding. He says, look, you can't do this. You have to look at this evidence over here. You can't endorse these people. You can't do this. These people are criminals. They're breaking the law. Look, here's the evidence right here. You know, I mean, because this is, you know, this is politics, you know. And so they're going, look. You can't, you understand, you know, they can't, you know, I've had attorneys tell me, he says, these people don't understand what they're doing. They think they understand. They haven't talked with attorneys yet. These people can be held liable. They can receive criminal charges for using their votes with felony intent. You know, God, I had this couple of attorneys, they just laid into that. It was just incredible. You know, just incredible. And... Uh, you know, I mean, it's just, man, you know, the stress here. You know, gee, the stress. You know, and you can't show any of it. You know, the media doesn't want to cover it. Uh, but, no, we couldn't come out with that. That would imbalance the election, and the Democrats couldn't win. I mean, it's like, you know, my attorney says, that has nothing to do with it. You know, the attorneys are sitting there going, look, uh, these people were supposed to have done the right thing to begin with. Kamala Harris never would have been a candidate. And one of the one attorney says, look, you'd have been smoking it out. 18 mobile RVs, broadcast RV structures, you'd have been smoking out. A million people a day would have got, saw you during the gubernatorial election. You know, you, you'd have got, you know, um, I did, he said I needed to do an analysis uh, with the computer a certain way. I did that. I did that. Uh, oh, 40 to 45% of the votes.